morning, everybody. I'm gonna take you along with me today as I get ready for my airport standby assignment. I'm a flight attendant and just got a call from crew scheduling. This was, um, I, wanted, I was about to say not a normal day of operations, but it kind of is for someone who's on reserve. Again, um, that's my lot in life right now. <laughs> So I just got called by Cruise Scheduling, as I mentioned. Cruise Scheduling is the department in Southwest Airlines. That's who I work for, Southwest Airlines. Cruise Scheduling is the department that does all of the, obviously, scheduling of the crew. So there's the pilot crew and then there's the flight attendant crew. We have two separate crew scheduling departments. So the flight attendant crew scheduling department takes care of all of the um, scheduling for um, for people who already have trips planned, but then also for people like me who are on reserve. And I'm on reserve, so that means I'm on call. Um, basically, because I'm a new flight attendant, and actually I think for the next several years, um, the, the schedule that I will get will be a reserve schedule. So that means basically I get three days a week scheduled, the same three days. So like this month, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I'll get the same three days each week and they are what's called ready reserve. So that means of those th on those three days, I'm on call for 24 hours, three days, three days straight. But once I work, then I have, um, I have to get rest in between the work time. Hopefully it makes sense. So anyway, so what, what happened today was I started my reserve block. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, today is Thursday. And they called me and said, okay, we don't have a trip for you, but you are on call and we might need you. So we're gonna send you into the airport all dressed and ready and with your bags and your food and everything, just in case we need to immediately send you to a gate and send you out on a trip. And that happens, I would say, probably one fourth of the time, 25% of the time where you'll get called in for airport standby. And so three quarters of the time, I stay my five hours and I'm there at the ready if they need me and they don't need me. So I leave after my five hours, but about 25% of the time I'm there and they'll call me while I'm there and say, okay, we need you to go to gate B12 and you've got a three day trip or a two day trip or a turn, which is a one day trip to wherever. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I have about four different general uh, uniforms that I can choose from and I can mix and match pieces. So I have a pair of pants, I have a skirt, I have two dresses, and then I have two different shirts that can mix and match with the pants and the skirt. I'll show you guys all my uniform pieces in a different video um, in depth and detail, but uh, today I've opted to wear my skirt with my boots that I got for Christmas. So hold on, let me see if I can show you what that looks like. There we go. And I have a scarf I can wear. I have a, a cardigan and a jacket. Today, I think I'm probably gonna wear the jacket. It's a little bit chillier outside and um, we're getting close to Valentine's Day. My jacket is red and I absolutely love it. And there it is right there, it has my wings on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on and complete my outfit. I'm packing my suitcase with everything that I need now, and <laughs> it looks like a huge fat mess. It's normally not this messy, but I don't have a lot of time to get ready, so I just kind of threw everything together. So let me pack up, and I will show you my required items, and then I will skedaddle. I always wanna bring an outfit with me for when I'm at the location, like wherever we end up flying to. Um, in case we go out to dinner or just wanna walk around, I don't wanna have to wear my uniform the whole time. And also, I bring a workout outfit just in case there is a gym or if I actually can do my workout right in my room, right in my hotel room. So I bring that and I also have clothes um, just in case, like it's very possible that when I get there, uh, they'll send me on a trip and it'll be a three day trip and my reserve is three days. So by the time I'm finished with that trip, then I can fly home. 
So there have been occasions where I finished the trip and haven't even left the airport and then just got on a flight straight back to Florida. So if that's the case, I wanna be prepared with everything that I need um, or want to take home and you know to be able to change clothes or I can even fly in my uniform. In that case, I could just fly home in my uniform, but um, it's sometimes more relaxing to change into another outfit, which I could have the same outfit that I wore like when I was traveling. Does that make sense? Like when I'm at the location where I'm going, my destination location. <laughs> okay, so I have almost everything is packed in here. Wait, my belt, oh shoot, do I wanna bring pants? Actually, I don't need my belt because I'm not bringing pants or a skirt. I'm just gonna have this dress. Maybe I should bring pants. Oh, hold on one second. Never mind. I decided to bring another dress because it's just super simple. You just throw it on. You don't need a belt and a shirt and all that stuff. So I'm just going to bring another dress with me. So I have my jammies, my workout clothes, my leisure clothes, another uniform, plenty of undergarments, pantyhose. I have my, my shoes, like I can change into my sneakers, and a bathing suit just in case. You never know if you're going to go someplace warm. Okay, and my toiletry kit right here. I'm gonna put my computer in and this bag. This is my carry-on backpack. I have my apron in here for when I serve. I also have both sets of glasses, my seeing glasses and my sunglasses. My sunglasses are up there. Again, just in case I go someplace warm or if I'm driving and I need my sunglasses. And I always bring my computer just in case I need to edit or take care of any work while I'm traveling. So that goes in my suitcase. And, oh, my hairbrush, can't forget that. Okay, fantastic. Then in my bag bag that I carry on my backpack, I put, here's my backpack, there's my glasses, my apron, I need this, this is called an IEFB, but it's really an iPad. It has all of our fancy stuff on it that we need, it's like our airport manuals, and um, that's what I use to like to order and like pay for drinks, like if people wanna order a drink, an alcoholic drink on the flight. My purse, I have my watch, which is also another required item. In here, I have my crew badge, which is another required item. I'm gonna put that on now because I need that to get through the airport. And what else do I need? I have my flashlight in there, that's a required item. My lipstick, that's not required, but required for me. <laughs> and I am just about ready to go. Thank goodness. Oh, no, 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 I have to get my food now, hold on. All right, you guys, I'm running a little bit behind, but I'm gonna put my food in, and I don't know if I'll have time to show it to you right now, but I have hard-boiled eggs, ham sandwich from the other night, salt, uh, hummus and chips, cheese and a cracker, <laughs> sweet potatoes, and rice um, and chicken. So I should be pretty good, even if I get called out for eating, that should be fine. And I have uh, some uh, oatmeal and that kind of stuff, so I should be pretty good. Filled up my little ice guy, put him in my bag, shut my bag, and I am good to go. So the way the call out works is, when you are on reserve, you have to be within two hours of the airport because when they call you, they only need to give you a two hour heads up for the time that you need to be there. So sometimes um, you'll get scheduled and you don't have to be at the airport for like eight hours, but sometimes um, they'll be like, okay, we need you in two. So you have to be able to ready, you have to be able to be ready to leave right then and there. Like I have a friend who does leave, live exactly two hours away. So she literally keeps her suitcase packed and she's showered and ready to go and then just puts on her uniform and goes to the airport. Um, for me, I only live 25 minutes from the airport, so I do have the um, flexibility to be able to like, I, I always do have my suitcase pretty well packed, like I never actually unpack it, um, but I use my toiletry kit and that kind of thing when I'm at home, so I just have to like put that back in and, and 
make sure I know what uniforms I'm going to be wearing and that kind of stuff. But, um, <clears throat> so yeah, I very rarely get a two hour call out. For example, I'll generally know more than two hours in advance when I'm going to need to be at the airport or if I'm on a trip or whatever. Um, but this time I definitely got a two hour. So it's, it's a little harrowing, especially when I didn't shower yet. Like I woke up this morning and I was just sort of, um, fooling around on the computer, looking at schedules and that kind of stuff. But, um, I'm going to make it. It's 1143 right now. And I'm about 10 minutes from the airport and I have to check in, in the airport to be in the airport by 1225. My walk is a little bit long, um, from the parking, but I'll be fine. I'm going to make it just fine. As long as there are no traffic issues, which I will know here in the next five minutes, because this is normally where it backs up or five seconds. I should say, and it's not backed up. So I should be good. I do pay a fee uh, every six months I pay I think it's like $150 I think I don't remember because I also pay a fee at my airport in Orlando or I'm sorry in, uh, in Florida so I don't know I can't remember which cost which but um, it's a pretty big parking lot and the good news is is it's a walkable distance to the terminal so it's nice to, um, to have this but now it comes the time to drive it in circles and try to find Guys, I got a pretty good spot. I'm pretty happy about it. There's lots of cars here waiting for other people to come out, but I got right beyond the six and right below the exit sign, so I don't have to walk very far. Yay! So I made it into our crew lounge. This is an area at the airport where the flight attendants get to hang out. There's a kitchen here. There's sort of like three different like loungy, um, uh, what do we call them? Like, like living room kind of things that have bed, like chairs that can lay back to a bed if people need to get crew rest in between the flights. This is the kitchen area and I'm sitting in here now eating my sandwich. I got this um, on one of my flights and I hadn't eaten it yet so I'm gonna eat this and just wait. So I wait here for five hours and they might call me to fly and they might not. If they don't call me to fly then after five hours I go home and then I have 12 hours off before they can call me again. So here I go. Well, I haven't talked to you guys in a while, and <laughs> so I was sitting airport reserve, and then I got the phone call that we needed to be at the gate ASAP. We needed to um, fly to Albany. We deadheaded to Albany, and what that means in the airport world is that I don't work the flight, but they need us there to work a different flight. So they're basically repositioning us. So they flew four of us from Baltimore to Albany. We got to Albany and then quick got onto into another gate and got on a plane and then flew back to Baltimore. Um, the people at the at Albany were basically waiting for us because I don't know what happened to that crew. But anyway, um, so then we just flew one leg back. It all happens very quickly. <laughs> so to be able to film, and those are short flights too, so I really didn't have time to film on the flight. But anyway, in the aftermath of all of this, I left my coat on the plane that we took to Albany. Then that plane went on to Chicago. So my coat is either in Albany if they found it and took it off or it's in Chicago right now or on its way to Chicago, it's in the air. So I talked with our operations and um, I'm gonna give them a call in Chicago when the plane lands to see if they can get my coat back. I'm so bummed. Good news is it's not terribly cold, but it is raining cats and dogs. So I'm gonna be walking to the air, to my car in the pouring, pouring rain. I don't mind telling you I'm quite hungry. <laughs> I, I ate when I got there, I had that sandwich. I don't even know what time of that was, but I am um, hungry. Holy cow, it is super foggy out here. Unbelievable. Um, so I'm not sure if it is actually raining. My flight attendant friend said, oh, it's raining outside. You're gonna need a coat, but let's take a look. 
Yeah, it must have, the rain must have slowed down because it is not raining. It is just super foggy. Can you guys see it in the background? Crazy. Anyway, I am looking forward to going home and having a bite to eat. This was, um, I, learned, I was about to say not a normal day of operations, but it kind of is for someone who's on reserve. Again, um, that's my lot in life right now <laughs> is I'm on reserve and they send me wherever they need me, whenever they need me. So today it was, again, just one leg up to Albany and then working one leg back. I'm released for today, but I am on a three day block of what's called reserve. So um, that was my day one. Now I have 12 hours of rest time so they can call me starting tomorrow at 8.50 in the morning for flights tomorrow or airport standby, which is what I had today, um, whatever they need me for. So I've got two more days of that and then a day off. Yay! You will be happy to know, I hope you're happy to know, I was happy to know that I called when the plane landed in Chicago and the operations agent answered and said that she had my coat in her hand. So now my coat is stranded in Chicago. So either I've got to fly there and get it, or I've got to try to find a flight attendant who is going from Chicago to Baltimore to bring it back to me. So I'll be calling there tomorrow morning, one of the first flights out, um, actually I have like four flights out tomorrow. So I will call and see if there's anybody there that can fly it back to Baltimore for me and I can pick it up. So I'm so happy that they found it because not only is it a uniform coat, but it's also an expensive coat. I paid quite a bit of money for that coat. And, um, and you know, we only have certain ones approved that we can wear and it's gonna only get colder. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming along with me on my um, get ready and work with me day today. I hope I was able to share a lot with you about my flight attendant life. And if you guys have any questions at all, please comment down below those questions because I'm going to be answering them in subsequent videos and on Instagram and TikTok as well. So I look forward to sharing with you all the information that you want to know about um, me and my flight attendant journey. So comment below again uh, if you have any questions and what made you happy today. What made me happy today was her having my coat. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.